I want to answer the question which LG OLED should I get for gaming somebody asked me on the comments I'm thinking on the C2 the G2 but I see you're excited about black frame insertion 120 how relevant that is if I'm gonna be using a gaming console and in general how relevant is that feature and you know which one should I get so this is you know don't use this video as a confirmation bias if you already got your TV and you don't, you cannot return it bro <laughs> all these all the TVs are amazing okay all, all the this, this is the best screen technology you can get today okay plasma and CRT they are dead they don't, don't make those anymore so if you already got your LG OLED be happy with that that's an amazing TV and you know, don't 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 use my advice to feel good or bad or bad about your purchasing decision okay so this is just to help somebody that is trying to decide and I'm going to try to take my bias out of the out of my recommendation okay so you have to ask yourself what is the best experience the best gaming experience I can get with this OLED TVs and it is HDR 120 frames for sure and that's not my preference but I'm being unbiased the best gaming experience you can get is HDR at 120 frames why because that's just the full capabilities of these LG OLEDs okay and if you are comparing between the C2 the G2 or the C1 you are comparing uh, for HDR peak brightness and how bright can the TV uh, get basically so the G2 is the clear answer then <laughs> it's the best TV it's also the most expensive TV and it's the latest TV so that just makes sense so but here's the thing nobody talks about motion clarity on this sample and hold displays why because motion clarity it is the weakest uh, you know, quality that these displays have because sample and hold displays they cause on our eyes what is called persistent blur so basically when you move the camera it looks blurry to our eyes even at 120 frames so you have an idea a plasma TV is just 60 frames 60 Hertz that looks as good as 120 frames on these OLED TVs in movement and that's a big deal because why would you spend so much more computer computing power to get the same image quality in movement that is that's another conversation but I am going to give you the considerations between those OLED TVs in terms of motion resolution because as you know the C2 and the G2 are not supporting right now black frame insertion at 120 frames so how relevant is that if you're gonna be using a gaming console so we know on a gaming console that you can get on most games you can get 30 frames locked 60 frames locked or sometimes 30 frames unlocked or 60 frames unlocked there are some games that come with a 120 frames support but most of them not to be you know, to not be absolute most of those 120 frames modes on the games they drop below 120 because that's very difficult to achieve so if you have a gaming console then 120 black frame insertion is completely irrelevant right no not necessarily because you can use black frame insertion on this LG C1 and the G1 you can use black frame insertion in combination with motion interpolation so what that motion interpolation does is it interpolates a frame it creates a frame that doesn't exist between frames so if you have a 60 frames per second locked game the TV is going to create another 60 frames so now you have 120 which you can apply black frame insertion that motion pro and as a result what that gives you is a great motion resolution so it looks like an impulse display okay it 
it looks, it simulates, it's trying to simulate how good a 120 frames plasma TV would look, 120 hertz plasma TV would look. Uh, it tries to simulate that and the results are phenomenal. So it is usable, even on a gaming console, this LG C1 and the G1 black frame insertion under 120, it is usable for 60 uh, frames per second games. So now, it is not perfect. You are sacrificing input response. You are sacrificing input lag because you cannot use motion interpolation on game optimizer mode. You can use black frame insertion on, on game optimizer mode. So you can use black frame insertion at 60 on those 60 frames per second games. It gives you 120 frames per second motion clarity, which is the maximum uh, motion clarity you can get on the C2 and the G2, that's the maximum. You can either get native 120 frames uh, per second games, or you can get 60 frames with black frame insertion and get 120 frames per second motion clarity, okay? But you are sacrificing uh, input lag when you use motion interpolation uh, because you cannot use game optimizer mode. So how bad is the motion, the, the input lag at 60 frames with motion interpolation on this LG C1 is not that bad. It is perfectly usable and I bet it is better than most TVs. So most regular TVs, the, most, the input lag is terrible because most TVs don't have this you know, input lag reducer uh, features that this LG C1 has like boost mode and that game optimizer mode that also reduces the input lag. So there is another downside of using black frame insertion, which is it kills the highlights. So there is no HDR with black frame insertion. You can get up to 500 nits, something like that. So for HDR, you need more than 600 nits. So Motion Pro black frame insertion on this LG C1 or even the C2 or the G2, it kills the highlights, okay? And if you are getting these OLED TVs, a big, big consideration is HDR. That's why you spend more money and get the G2 because it's the brightest, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, this motion interpolation adds input lag and motion pro black frame insertion kills the highlights. So taking my bias out of the equation, the best results, the best gaming experience you can have with this LG uh, OLED TVs is 60 frames per second games that are on cap and you can use VRR you can use variable refresh rate so the game is gonna be running at 70 80 frames and if you can run that with HDR with great responsiveness that's gonna be probably the best you can get on a console and on a gaming PC the best you are gonna be able to get uh, realistically is gonna be 100 to 120 frames with G-Sync or FreeSync and HDR at the same time, okay? So that is the reality, okay? And also, you have to consider that the C2 and the G2, they don't support uh, black frame insertion at 120, but the motion interpolation on those TVs, are they are a lot better than the C1 and the G1. Based on other reviews that I've seen, the motion interpolation, so the jutter and the blur, those two settings are a lot better than the C1. Why? Because they have a lot less motion interpolation artifacts, okay? Uh, there are like different kinds of artifacts. One of them is called soap opera effect, uh, which looks weird. So weird things you see <laughs> and some defects. But to be honest, at 60 frames, this motion interpolation on the C1 with the blur, it works very good. So my guess is that on the C2 and the G2, if it works better, that's going to be an amazing option for gaming on a console. Because you can get those 60 frames per second games on HDR, use motion interpolation and get a 120 frames per second HDR without losing peak brightness. And that's probably going to be realistically the best gaming experience you can get on the console with the only downside being you're going to lose uh, responsiveness, you're gonna lose input lag. So, 
But what about if you have a gaming PC? If you have a, a high-end gaming PC, how relevant is that 120 frames per second, uh, 120 hertz black from insertion? It is very relevant. <laughs> it is so amazing. You see me doing these videos like, bro, this is so amazing, so perfect. Nobody talks about that. Why? Because there's no way I can show you on a video how good the motion clarity is. The best I can do is just follow the UFO test with my, with my with my cell phone, which I tried to do in one video already, and it is very difficult. So nobody talks about you know black frame insertion, motion clarity, because it's something we cannot show on YouTube. But trust me, if you have a high-end gaming PC and you can play a game at 120 frames per second, rock solid with black frame insertion motion pro on high it is perfection and at that point my opinion so now i am giving you my opinion at that point i couldn't care less <laughs> about hdr because when you move the camera it is perfection it's like having a giant crt tv okay and it's so amazing that i i don't care about hdr so if i can get that on a game even if the game has amazing HDR, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, that's my opinion. If you are thinking, should I get the C2, C1, G2, consider you know, the value. If you can get a C1, for example, 48 inch for you know, $800, and I've seen them on Amazon as low as $800, that's a steal. There's nothing to think about. If you care about value, that's a steal. $800 for this TV is just amazing value. <laughs> There's no competition for that. But if you can get if you don't care that much about, you know, saving $300, the G2 is the best TV. There's no question about that. So yeah, I can maybe do a separate video on showing the current pricing, maybe taking a look at other brands and I'm also planning to do a video about what are the features I am looking for for my next TV based on my experience with this LG C1 and I am also planning a trip to Best Buy <laughs> I actually spoke with someone there I have a friend on Best Buy and he said yeah no problem brother you come here you can record do whatever you want but I want to go with a better camera <laughs> not with myself and I want to go with a better camera and yeah that video is going to come uh, in the future because also the lighting conditions on Best Buy are very bad and for me to go with my gaming PC because what I want to do is go with my gaming PC he said no the problem is you have to speak with the manager because if you connect your gaming PC I mean there's no way to connect it so I have to use an extension that's a problem so that video is going to come down the line but just based on my experience with this LG C1 so I do not have the C2 or the G2 but I know I know how good this motion <laughs> black from insertion is and yeah and the C2 and G2 by the way they do have uh, a better not a better black from insertion at 60 but with less a little bit less flickering based on other reviews so usually a brighter black from insertion with less flickering means a little bit less motion clarity that's why the CX and GX, they have a better uh, motion clarity with that black frame insertion, but they are dimmer as a consequence. So it is a trade-off. <laughs> they will probably never give you the perfect TV. But it is what it is. For some reason, this all these new 2022 OLED TVs, uh, the XE panels, I think that's the name, they are not coming with black from insertion for some reason. Go figure. Maybe it's a, it's a technical problem. Maybe they just decided to stop supporting it because most people don't use it. Uh, or I don't know. Why is that? Uh, so yeah, let me know if you still have any questions. Again, price is important. But if you don't care about price and, you, and you're gonna be using a gaming console, the G2 is definitely a safe bet. 
it's an amazing TV. But if you care about value, you can get a C1 for, if you can get a 55 inch for close to a thousand dollars, that's a steal. <laughs> There's no way, I mean, no reason to spend two thousand dollars. I mean, spend double almost for the G2, no reason, really. But if you just care about the best of the best, those are the facts that I know. And yeah, let me know if you have uh, any questions.